especially because it looks so shiny look at the reflection in this one also look at the shine in this What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, all you new subscribers on Barbas. Today we're going to be working on the Civic. We are going to continue on our paint job. Um, we are going to continue to uh, turn this a little bit patina. Go ahead and give it that distressed look. Make it look um, a little bit old, a little bit faded. Not rusty because I'm not into adding rust to the vehicles. I know that that's something that people like to do when they do patina. but. All I'm going to do is wet sand through my finish and get down to the primer that's underneath. I have black primer underneath, so once I hit that, I will stop. And then I will make my way up through all the sandpaper all the way until I give it a, a buff again. But either way, we are only going to do this in areas that are common sense. So an area that would be common sense to me would be like if we took this trunk right here and we did a little bit of the stress right here on this edging, maybe from water, water damage on both sides, and then a little bit of the stress right here, you know, just from closing the trunk. So a little bit of a faded look right here. We are also gonna be doing a little bit on the sides. So maybe like right around here, just the edging of this. Like usually, paint will rub off. You guys already know this, but paint will rub off like at the edges. We could do some edges on this side also. But either way, that's what we want to do. We want to do areas that are common sense that we know that the paint will rub off in a few years or whatever. But we are going to go ahead and make that process happen right now. So we're going to go ahead and use some 180. It's wet. And just hit the areas, like I said, that are common sense. And just rip through our fresh paint down to our primer very lightly. So I've been using all the grits and I've made my way up to the 3000 right now, slowly. And you guys can see like some areas where I went all the way through, through the, the black primer. And I hit the silver and I hit a little bit of the blue. And over here is like a bigger area where that happened. And it kind of looks kind of cool because then it, it tells the story of what's going on underneath. This brown paint. But this is how far I've gotten. And I think I'm ready to start polishing this to see what the final product is gonna look like. I just added some of the compound down here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the buffer. There it is. Tell me what you guys think down below. It kind of looks like if this car had a wing now. The wind, the wing was taken off. <laughs> but I do like it. I think I did a little bit too much right here in the center. But I do like it. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Maybe I'll do a little bit right here on the side. And then continue a little bit more on the side right here. And I probably won't do anything on this door. I'll just go ahead and just do right here. And right here. And maybe up here a little bit. But it does look pretty cool. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to hit this with the sandpaper and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what it's looking like before I do the other side. So this is what the side is looking like so far. I went ahead and I hit this whole thing. The pillar going up and out this way. So far I've hit it with a bunch of sandpapers all the way up to 2500. I'm about to hit it with the 3000 and then we'll go ahead and buff it out. Look at that reflection. I kind of like it. At first I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I kind of like how it's starting to look, especially because it looks so shiny. Look at the reflection in this one also. It looks so shiny. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. I just finished the passenger side and I am very, very satisfied how this is looking. Check it out, take a look. Sorry about the noise in the background, the train's about to go by. Look at the shine in this. I didn't scuff or sand or anything down here. That's all just water from wiping everything down. And I think that's as far as we're gonna get. I didn't do anything on the driver's door or the passenger door because I'm just gonna leave that as is. I am gonna do some stuff on the fenders on each side and a little bit on the hood and I'm not gonna touch the front bumper. So it's gonna look pretty nice and at the same time it's gonna have a little bit of like distortion to the paint which is pretty cool because if you come up to it and touch it, it's smooth as butter. Either way, tell me what you guys think. Remember I could always uh, respray everything if I needed to but I do like how it looks right now. Either way, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And this is gonna be the end of this one. I'll catch you guys on my next one. My next one's gonna probably be uh, the little uh, side things that go right here, the moldings. We're gonna go ahead and lay some paint on those and put those all around. And also the tray that goes in the back right here and the little Honda emblem. We're going to go ahead and touch it up with a little bit of paint. Either way, I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.